Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction, guys. First of all, for those who are tuned in, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share because of course sharing Ivorian Spice is caring. And for those who want to contribute to the channel, you can always contribute via PayPal via the link description. You'll see that in the link description. And also send your super chats as we are live right now. But it has been one of those nights, one of the one of those days, because it is Manchester United nil, Watford nil, Manchester United unable to get the points. Manchester United dropping, not even dropping, not, I couldn't say drop. Manchester United getting a point, failing to get three points, failing to get the rest of those two points in that game, guys. It has been appalling. For those who are tuned in, let me know who your match man of the match was, what your thoughts of the game, who was your donkey of the match, because I am angry, I am annoyed, I'm pissed off. I just can't believe what I've just seen. And rightly so, guys, the fans are right. The fans should boo. Yes, they are right because we are we grew up in attack, 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 and we're getting nonsense, nonsense, nonsense all the time. It is totally unacceptable. Manchester United have ruined my weekend. It hasn't been the weekend that I wanted. No, it really hasn't. What kind of bullshit is this? has ruined everything. For you Man United fan, it's appalling, you know. I feel sorry for you guys as well. Those who, who are from a different part of the world had to wake up to see this shit, this shit, and think, rah, I woke up early for this in the middle of my sleep, or I miss work for this shit. <sighs> Every time. Yes, I know that we've just come from a Champions League game where everyone put their all into it, but still, Still not good enough. Match United should have got three points today, and they didn't. That first 45 minutes, guys, Manchester United were poor throughout. I know Ronaldo hit the post a couple of times very early. But still, the v again, we could have done much more better. Manchester United, again, with Cristiano Ronaldo, Scoring a goal, but ruled out by VAR, which was so appalling. Ronaldo still can't, can't catch a break on the Ralph Ragnitz football. He really can't. And then another player that caused us problems, Dennis. Dennis was a good player. Dennis was a good player for Watford. He caused us problems. And when it became quite clear that this match in the first half, we wouldn't be able to get goals, it was half time. I at half time was was seeing a, probably a Manchester United team that were tired, really tired from that Atletico Madrid game. They really drained the, the, the life out of them. Eventually, or so in the second half, it was the same goddamn shit again. Manchester United unable to break the lines. Yes, we was creating chances. Yes, substitutions were made, and Manchester United amped up the situation. But look at that, God damn it! <coughs> Sorry about that, guy. God damn, just look at that. Unable to penetrate, unable to score, unable to do much. And it's appalling. It's been bad. It really has been bad in that second half. Ronaldo unable to do much. Full time nil nil. Manchester United have let us down. It's been shit. All I have to say in terms of players today, I thought everyone had a bad game. Bruno Fernandes himself. Poor Ronaldo, again, as much as she tried, never had the best of games. It was poor, 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 poor Pogba in the midfield, Fred and everyone else was poor. The only bright thing was that the, the very good partnership of Varane and Lindelof shows that we've, we've got a clean sheet. They show that they've got a bit more stability compared to that guy, compared to that guy, that joke, man. Harry Maguire. It is what it is. Man in the match today, guys, that goes to no one. Um, if, if anything, our defence, our defence, donkey of the match, I'm going to have to give it to Paul Pogba. He didn't have the best of games, in my opinion. 
But apart from that, it is what it is. Manchester United fans, we tune in tomorrow again. For those who are new, there will be a watch along for the Carabao Cup final between Chelsea and Liverpool. So do tune in for that until then. But guys, as always, remember to keep it united. Remember to keep it ready now. Remember to follow the the um, the, the um, socials. Sorry, I lost my voice and I lost my thought. Remember to follow the socials because I'm so damn disappointed. Remember to keep it united. And also remember to keep it ready united because I'm out. Peace out.